I'm sure you've heard of the SMMA agency model. And most of the time when someone mentions SMMA, you think of gurus selling high ticket courses and mainly a flashy lifestyle from the people that have found success with it. There are countless stories and videos online about how SMMA has changed people's lives for the better. They've reached financial freedom and generally they are wealthier than the average nine to five worker. But what you don't see is that the agency model can completely ruin your life. Let's take two different people for an example. One is Joe Smith and the other is Brad Johnson. Dope dudes. Joe Smith is a 17 year old kid who doesn't really do well in school. He doesn't come from a background of wealth and generally he just doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. He's just pretty much lost. And with the pressure from his peers and parents, Joe feels like he needs to figure out a career path that's going to work for him ASAP. And Joe, like every other 17 year old kid, spends a lot of time on TikTok. It's on there that he stumbles across SMMA. He watches a couple of motivational videos about kids who never went to college, who run SMMAs and are living this lavish lifestyle. And of course, what 17 year old wouldn't want to do that? So Joe gets obsessed. He resonates with those stories. So Joe dives in. He does tons of research watching some YouTube videos, taking courses, and now he feels like it's actually easier than he previously thought. And he's got nothing to lose and everything to gain. So he gives it a shot. Joe works on setting up his agency for a month. He follows every guide meticulously, listening to advice from people online and even some peers that he's connected with on the internet. At this point, Joe's motivation levels are high. He daydreams about what his life could be like once this works. He wakes up every day excited to work on his online business and he thinks that this thing is going to be the thing that changes his life. But after a month of trying, Joe realizes that he spent all of his savings on courses and hiring media buyers. Unfortunately for Joe, nothing worked. He literally blew the last amount of his savings and he just can't figure it out. He loses his self-confidence in starting an online business and he doesn't even believe people online are making money. So ultimately, Joe quits. We're gonna come back to Joe, but let's move on to Brad. Brad is in a very similar situation as Joe. Being 17 years old, not in college and ultimately doesn't know what he wants to do with his life, he goes down the same rabbit hole that Joe went down and stumbles across SMMA on YouTube or TikTok. And Brad, with just 500 bucks to his name, studies the exact same material as Joe. He also believes that he can find success in an online business. So he gives it a shot. Now, Brad tries SMMA for his first month. His motivation is at an all time high. He's excited to get up in the morning and works on his business and he grinds for the entire month. And to your surprise, he ends up just like Joe. He lost all of his savings. His motivation motivation has deteriorated to nothing and he's starting to question if SMMA even works. But Brad is a little bit different than Joe. He simply does not give up. He pulls himself out of this self-pity and fake motivates himself to keep going. He pivots his marketing angles, learns about personal branding, learned different aspects of the business which he can improve and repeatedly tried various strategies within the next month. Now the month is over and Brad did it. He put all of the puzzle pieces together and he made his 500 bucks now. Brad reinvested that money into the business and continues to sharpen his skills in marketing, personal branding, and even ad creatives. He scales up his agency and in the next full month, Brad makes $10,000 profit. Brad has finally done it. Those are the two scenarios and stories of Joe versus Brad. Now looking at these two examples, you're probably going to say that Joe is the one that has ruined his life. And in this case, you're wrong. Brad is actually the one that has ruined his life. Here's why. Let's go back to the aftermath of Joe. He tried, blew his savings, and ultimately failed. So Joe completely gives up trying to start his own business. He goes into a college or a trade program, essentially a more traditional route of work. And he is now working in a corporate job. He's exactly where the edge education system, big corporation, and society wants him to be. He's now a jumble and a machine. Now don't get me wrong, good for Joe. Joe has a pretty steady job, he can cover all of his bills, and lives a very modest life in the eyes of society. That's exactly where Joe needs to be, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. Therefore, Joe is not ruined. Now let's catch up with Brad. Brad went on to continue running his SMMA, making about 10 to 20k a month profit. He now realizes that he can offload a lot of his work that he's doing to VAs, and he essentially buys back a lot of his time. Now Brad has a lot more time available on his hands and he decides to start a second business. He realizes that he's fantastic at web designs. He can design websites that are aesthetically pleasing and have a very high conversion rate. Brad takes that high income skill that he learned and builds out a website agency. He creates a portfolio of websites that he's built with the results that he's received. And he also creates some case studies and starts reaching out to small businesses that desperately need a website to fix. Brad lands some clients building out websites for companies and now this has generated him an additional 10k profit a month. Now Brad does the exact same thing that he did with his SMMA. He hires a team and teaches them exactly how to build those beautifully crafted websites. Brad once again has bought his time
time back. But Brad is ruined. Now you're probably thinking, how on earth is Brad ruined? Brad is ruined in the eyes of the educational system. He is the outcast. He is a man that broke free the system and was able to avoid being another cog in the machine. You see, once you get a true taste of success in building your own business or entrepreneurship in general, you essentially become unemployable. You've now realized the true value of the dollar and what your time is worth. Even if all of Brad's businesses go completely into the trash can, he never again will trade an hour of his time for a set wage. He has the knowledge of building a business and what it actually takes to succeed. He now knows that if he works hard on something, dedicates his time, it doesn't quit when he hits any little road bump along the way, he will persevere. And in the eyes of the educational system and big corporations, Brad is ruined. I know this is a fictional made up scenario, but in reality, I'm Brad. I've been way too far removed from the corporate workplace to ever go back. No matter what happens to any of my businesses, it truly is a unique and freeing feeling. My last and only piece of advice to anyone that's watched this far into the video, well, first of all, thank you. And second of all, don't quit when you run out of money. Don't quit when you hit a road bump. And especially don't quit when peers tell you that it's not going to work. Keep your head down, continue to learn, and you too will be free. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.